Hey coders and welcome to episode 1 of our form service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be looking at how to create and open forms. So the top three methods I have for you today are create, open by ID, and open by URL. So let's jump into the code and see how these methods work. A popular use case of the form service is to create a new form from scratch and do it programmatically as well. So if we go into our UI, our forms UI, this is what Google provides for us. We can see that we have one form right here already made and this was the form that I created for our on form submit video in season three. But if we want to create a new form, the way to do it manually would go in, would be to go into this UI and then click this button right here that says blank. And there's also a plus icon right here. And this would create for you a new form. But let's say we want to do that programmatically within the within app script. Well, we would go into the code editor and then we would first have to type in form app to access all the methods on the form app. And then the method to do this to create a new form is incredibly simple it's just create right here and you can see that the method is called create and it returns for us a form it both creates a form and it returns for us a form there is one required parameter and that is a string which they've called title but this is the string or this is the title of the form so let's just uh, give it a title we'll say my form that seems like a pretty good title to use and now if we hit save and run again the form app has already been authorized in the last episode, so it ran and no error, so that's good. So let's go into our UI now, and if we refresh the page, we should be able to see two different forms. So this is the one that we just created. Again, it's 1255, and you can see it was opened 1255. So this is the one we just made, and it is displaying properly as it should within our UI. If we just click on it, we can see that indeed it has the title My Form. So right here, and then also, right here. Awesome. So everything is working. Now let's say we have created that form, but let's say we exit out and then we come back later and we want to now we want to now access this form within the code editor. Well, to do that, we again need to access form app. We'll hit the period button and then if we go all the way down, there's two ways to open this form programmatically and they are open by ID and open by URL and they will both return to us that form that we have just opened. So this is totally personal preference. Again, uh, you can use ID or URL. You're both. You're going to get the same result, which is this form. It's just however you'd like uh, your your app to function. So I usually do the open by ID. So we'll first uh, showcase of that. And again, the ID is found in between. If you look in the URL, it's found in between the D slash and then right before the slash edit. So again, this is a similar pattern with a lot of Google products, whether it's spreadsheets or slides or docs, usually, or in, in this case, forms, usually the ID is between the D slash and the slash edit or whatever comes after that. So let's just copy this ID and we'll put it within a string. So we'll put it within two quotes. And now if we, if we save it, and actually let me just store this in a constant, we'll say constant form equals and then we'll just console log that form. It's not gonna return anything for us really. Uh, it'll just be an empty object, but let's just uh, uh, console log that just to verify that is indeed working and that we don't get something like undefined. So if we now check out our logs, we may have to wait for a little bit just to, uh, just to um, make sure that it loads. But here we go, here is our empty object. Again, there is actually more there's more data that comes with this object. It's just not displaying for whatever reason. Um, it's probably because it's too much data, but the, the fact of the matter is that it's not undefined, so it indeed got this form for us, which is pretty dang cool. All right, so that's open by ID, and then we also have, um, we also have open by URL. So again, you can open that. You can access that form through its ID, or you can op open it by the URL. So now the URL is very simple. Again, you just copy it. You copy the entire string up in this address bar. And then again, you need to place it within two quotes. So we'll do that here. And now if we hit save and run, 
if we run it without any errors then it indeed opened it correctly and if we go into our logs again it will have the same result again now that we have the form we can access a lot of different methods which we're going to look at in the next upcoming episodes which will be incredibly fun and i can't wait until then all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and i'll see you in the very next episode